Hello, this is Cycle 2, Week 18 Science. This is Experiment 184 in Van Cleve's book, Lifter. Uh, the purpose of this experiment is to describe how a screw works. So in order to, uh, to do this demonstration, you, you need a screw and you need student hands. Um, there, I would suggest doing it in two ways. Have the student uh, hold the screw at the bottom, like this, uh, and then rotate the, <clears throat> the head of the screw clockwise and ask them questions such as, what do you observe? What is changing? What do you feel with your fingers? We see now the screw is starting to poke through. So as we rotate the screw clockwise like this, then the screw is moving through the plane uh, formed by my fingers uh, and, and all the way down. Then uh, each student can do the same e experiment uh, in a slightly different format, hold the top of the screw, and now rotate the screw counterclockwise. And what happens? The screw begins to rise through the plane of uh, my fingers. So why is this happening? What, what is going on? A screw is unique uh, because it's effectively a, a cylinder that has um, this ridge wrapped around it, or it's this cylinder that has uh, what we call threads on the screw. Um, the thread and, and, the, and the screw silt body uh, effectively form then a spiral. Uh, so the, the thread is a spiral around the, the screw's body. And really, it's an application of, a, of an inclined plane. A simple machine, one of the six simple machines um, that is in practice in, in everyday use. And screws, of course, are everywhere. So uh, this experiment, this demonstration part is, is fairly quick uh, and easy to do. Uh, my suggestion for doing it, I think all of the students can do it, even the littlest ones. Always use your best judgment about your students and their maturity and keep in mind their safety. Uh, but I think for every adult volunteer you have, one kid can hold one screw safely uh, and, and do this demonstration. And then everybody can feel the sensation. Uh, and then what you want to emphasize to them is that it's because of the thread. So the thread is not simply wrapped around the cylinder, making the cylinder bigger. I mean, it adds to the, to the diameter a little, but, but rather the, the thread travels the length of uh, the cylinder. And that's the, the key, the key um, piece that, that, that enables the screw then to tighten things and hold the, the go, go through things and hold things uh, together. It enables the action, the motion uh, of the screw. That is that uh, demonstration. A good way maybe to add to uh, this week's demonstration is to talk about a little bit of history. So I have here a timeline card for a famous Greek, Archimedes. Now Archimedes uh, is, is perhaps most famous uh, for, uh, for shouting Eureka when he discovered the principle of uh, fluid displacement, but um, equally, equally famous is uh, the Archimedes screw. Uh, it was interesting this morning, um, <clears throat> my wife and I were talking and I was saying that as I was reading uh, some different um, historical sources, there's some evidence that maybe the Archimedes screw predated Archimedes. Maybe um, it existed in Egypt before his time. And our 11, almost 12 year old son um, heard that uh, because he did his Faces of History paper on Archimedes last year, he immediately jumped into the intellectual fray and said, No, Dad, Archimedes lived in the 3rd century BC. He totally invented the screw. They, they, he helped the Egyptians move water out of the Nile to irrigate their crops. And so we had a good uh, dialectic uh, dis discussion uh, this morning, uh, something maybe to bring up. Also, kind of fun fact about Archimedes, especially if uh, some of your kids are a little maybe uh, stinky or maybe uh, don't enjoy baths. I mean, let's be honest, who does? Uh, Archimedes apparently didn't like to take a bath either. Uh, in fact, perhaps sometimes his servants had to chase him down in order to get him into the tub. So it's even maybe a little more interesting that he was there in the tub when he noticed fluid uh, displacement. Okay, so let's, uh, let's talk then about uh, and look at an example of an Archimedes screw. So <clears throat> the Archimedes screw is relatively simple design. Um, this is a homemade Archimedes screw, in fact, uh, made by our director. So shout out, Amanda, this is awesome. Well done, uh, I loved it. Um, as soon as, as uh, um, my lovely assistant said, Amanda has an Archimedes screw, she said, would you have a use for it? I'm like, oh yeah, we could totally, totally uh, use this. So this, this uh, Archimedes screw is made with a PVC pipe and then like a, a polypropylene um, clear um, a tube that, that then is wrapped around the cylinder of the PVC pipe, right, and attached at both ends. So the two ends of the Archimedes screw then here are open, right, this end is open, and this end, 
uh, is open. And now we can put the screw um, into action. So if we have um, historically, right, our Nile River here represented by the uh, reddish orange uh, water, a um, little food coloring trick, and then we need to irrigate uh, some crops. We need to move the water from uh, low to high uh, surfaces in order to, to accomplish this. So how are we gonna do it? We put one end of Archimedes screw into uh, the Nile surface, and then we begin to turn it. We begin to move the screw. I, I hope it's very plain uh, on the video that we have water, for example, here, right here, moving through uh, the screw. Maybe good questions to ask your students as you're, as you're doing this would be, what would happen if I was to take this end of the screw that's submerged in, that's submerged in the water? What happens if I take it out? Is all the water gonna run out? Will it stay? What do you, what do you think? Uh, an easy demonstration uh, to do. So what will happen? I can pull it out and we can see very clearly that the water stays. Why is it staying, right? Because the, 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 the water in each little piece here, so effectively what the Archimedes screw does is it alternately traps water and air, water and air, water and air, all down the length, right? And so because of that, then it's using the principle of positive displacement to move this uh, water up uh, our Archimedes, um, up our Archimedes screw to irrigate uh, our crops. So we're getting closer as we continue to turn um, the screw. So would it work then? Another good question. Does it work then? So if it, the water doesn't run out, what happens if I turn it? Well, it will still work. Right, I can do it just like this and I can continue to move that liquid right up uh, Archimedes screw. So we're getting closer and closer. Let's see. Here we go. Get ready. Almost ready to irrigate there. <laughs> We're able to move water. Let's turn a little more. Here comes more, right? And so we are able then to move all of the water that we, we put into the Archimedes screw. We're then able to move it from a, a, a place of low position to a place of, of high position. Uh, again, by positive displacement, because we're alternately trapping air and, and when, when the end is submerged in the water, we're trapping alternately air and water along uh, the channel uh, as it's moving. Uh, and this is a good example then, again, of an inclined plane, right? So the, the interior of that tube represents an inclined plane. And as we're, as we're applying this motion to the tube, then, then we're able to move uh, the water up that inclined plane um, by the displacement of the air or the water if the end is submerged that is behind it. Uh, it is that motion of, of the tube as it's turning. I think one more. There. there we go. Archimedes, Archimedes screw. Uh, and then we're able to move uh, the water um, up. And so again, it's an inclined plane. It's another example. It looks a little bit like a, a screw with a thread. And so the students can, should be able to see the connection. It's a great add-on to this uh, demonstration, 184 lifter. It's also a good add-on to experiment 185 ramp in Van Cleve's book. I think either place, it would be something good uh, to do that, that talks about the same kinds of principles and is another application. Gives us a chance to, to show the connection with history uh, and, and to sort of help our students begin to put all of the different pieces uh, together. This is a really cool um, demonstration, a really cool week uh, of science. This is Cycle 2, Week 18 Science.